Hi everybody, so this is glycerin. This particular stuff is vegetable glycerin. It's actually glycerin or glycerol, same stuff. It's vegetable glycerin because it comes from vegetables. All glycerin's the same, just that the non-vegetable glycerin is from animal fats, so this stuff is from vegetable oil. And we're told that this stuff is biodegradable, completely non-toxic and completely inflammable. So it's one of the most safe materials that you can have. And it's one of the reasons, I suppose, that it's used in pharmaceuticals and cosmetics so heavily. It's also used in vapes, actually. Vape fluid is about 50% glycerin, 50% polyethylene glycol, bit of nicotine, bit of colour sometimes, and some fancy flavours. Rumour has it, it's great for cracked skin and chapped lips, because of course winter is coming and it's cold out there, woodchuck chuckers, so this could be used for that. It's also been approved by the FDA for feedstuff, so you can feed your pigs on this or your laying hens, apparently. So, brilliant stuff, supposed to be one thing, turns out... It's not, because of course glycerin has its problem. Glycerin is also a byproduct of the production of biodiesel, and because biodiesel has got so popular, people are making tons of it, and we made some in video 1672. Let me show you something. Okay, I'm a bit scared. So much for non-flammable! Ow! That's hot! <laughs> Actually, there's been a couple of research papers come out to say that glycerin, far from being non-flammable, is a fantastic material for sticking straight... Oh, let me just move that. Straight into a diesel engine, just as is. Now that's really counterintuitive because glycerin absorbs water from the air, so it's got water in it. It's still burning, so anybody who thinks that water in your fuel is a bad idea doesn't really know about hydro-diesel and about the injection of water into aeroplanes during the war to improve their efficiency and the simple fact that glycerin with water in it will burn just Jim Dandy. Glycerin with water seems, according to the research, it's more lubricating than diesel, and even though the C10 factor is lower, you can get so much more mass out, you can get roughly the same energy out of it. So much so that Formula E asked Aquafuel Research to develop a container-sized generator that they could lug around with them and generate their own electricity from glycerin. Research has shown that what you need to do in order to get this stuff to burn is warm it up a bit. You warm it up a bit, about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, before you inject it into your diesel, and you up the compression ratio of the diesel a bit, and suddenly you have the perfect fuel for a diesel engine. And if you're thinking about what to do with this, then of course there are a ton of diesel room heaters kicking around. This stuff at the moment is dirt cheap, courtesy of the biodiesel industry. Seems like it'll go straight into those heaters. Now, I love that on so many levels. One is, it shows you what it can be done when you think out of the box instead of accepting what you've been told. Because glycerin is supposed to be perfectly safe and non-flammable, and we can see far from it. We made this glycerin from our biodiesel experiment, and the whole thing was a little bit dramatic. You notice I was a bit scared to begin with? Well, that's mostly because I've already tried this, and of course I've burnt my fingers a couple of times. But I, would show, I thought I'd show you that this material is in fact completely the opposite to the way we think about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.